the reason I've written a number of, at least two poems uh, dedicated to uh, Malcolm uh, <clears throat> uh, derives partly from a, 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 uh, the inspiration I think he inspired in the uh, youth of my generation, uh, that he was particularly in touch with urban youth. I myself was born in the South, in the United States, uh, in uh, Florida, in Fort Lauderdale. And so I could distinguish very, di very clearly the difference in the roles that were being played by Dr. King and uh, by uh, Malcolm X. Uh, I, I didn't see them as mutually exclusive, uh, as many of my peers did, but I saw them as, as really quite uh, sympathetic and uh, complimentary. And eventually, uh, I, I think my beliefs, my political beliefs, were borne out by the fact that Malcolm moved over closer to the, the position of Dr. King. Coming from the South, I could see uh, the importance of Dr. King's uh, uh, evolutionary approach to politics, his go slow approach, the sit-ins, the nonviolent, because he, he understood very clearly the, the uh, the tendency of, of, of reaction uh, in the United States and the tendency towards violence, uh, which uh, the white establishment is, uh, was at that point even better prepared to carry out against Negroes. And so his strategy was obviously the correct one uh, because uh, even though it involved uh, a few people being uh, hurt from the point of view of violence, it, uh, his, the things he accomplished were enormous. When you go to the South, now, uh, the, the face of the southern United States has really completely changed, uh, so much so that even uh, groups like the, the Klan, which are much talked about today and uh, are really a threat, uh, are not so much of a threat as they used to count in, when I was a boy. saying that Malcolm is dead and every flower is still. Well, I just want to tell you, Mama Rose, we are the victims. What am I going to say to my sons? That death cloaks the Potomac in a scarlet shawl. That the pillow beneath you is not here. Well, I want you to take this ex-cannibal's kiss and turn it into a revolution. My stale phlegm is the sludge of factories spat into the sky. The flies that hover over your yellow and crusted eyes are the centurions of Hannibal wondering at you lying there. Your simmering hopes and jelly corpse Turned up to the sky like a putrefying Congolese After the Americans have come to help I say peace, peace good woman That once brought me home banana pudding in a jar I could never conceive you except As the eternal progenitor of dreams Your vagina split asymmetrically between the east and the west Hush! Don't stir or your proud lips will expel peals of laughter into the midst of bandy-legged black girls wet from the harvest. I say, Mama Rose, Mama Rose, Mama Rose, Mama Rose, Mama Rose, Mama Rose. I announce the death of Union Meniere and the consummation of flowers. They shall be destroyed by the stench of Gilbert's fires. And the thorny dreams of men hush, they lay you to rest. And the hill of piney grove will never again suffice. 